upcoming elections in Sri Lanka could very well test India's influence in the island republic. Widely seen as the presidential frontrunner is Gotabaya Rajapaksa, hailing from one of the most politically powerful families in Sri Lanka. Here's all you need to know about this high-profile candidate and what his victory could mean for India, a neighbour who's keeping a close watch on the developments. These allegations are quite absurd. Take, for instance, the allegation that the security forces killed or gravely mistreated those who surrendered or detained. This has been repeated loudly and repeated often, but it is not an accusation that stands up to scrutiny. <laughs> That's Gota by Rajapaksa years ago. LTT leadership is trying to escape from Sri Lanka from, to somewhere. Defending his government's conduct during its war with the Tamil Tigers amid allegations of human rights violations by the UN. The 70-year-old served as the defense secretary when his brother Mahinda Rajapaksa was president and is seen as the front-runner in presidential elections. Gotabaya is immensely popular among Sri Lanka's powerful Sinhala Buddhist majority who credited him with ending the island nation's 26-year-long civil war in 2009. And after the Easter bombings in April this year, most Buddhist leaders and victims of the terror attacks believe Colombo needs a strong, seasoned hand like Gotabaya. The fifth of nine siblings, Gotabai migrated to the U.S. in 1998 and acquired dual citizenship. Tell them, okay, look, this is what we... And so be it the issue of dual citizenship or a U.S. court case sued by Tamils for alleged torture and murder during the Civil War or a case in Sri Lanka for alleged misappropriation of state funds, Gotabai's legal woes are many. Allegations and all that we have... Having a bearing on the Indian presence in Sri Lanka, here's what it could mean for India in the event of Gotabaya's election. That Gotabaya and former President Mahinda Rajapaksa are pro-China is no secret. His party's manifesto states that seeking better relations with India and other countries would be a vital part of their foreign policy if SLPP comes to power. Yet the coup in 2018 when President Sirisena installed Mahinda Rajapaksa in Prime Minister Vikramasinghe's place came as a stark warning to India. Gotabai Rajapaksa took charge of defence and security during their 51-day rule, closely watching the movements of the Indian diplomats. A 2019 Rajapaksa victory could mean similar discomfiture for Indian diplomats in Sri Lanka. While Rajiv Gandhi was heavily invested in resolving the Tamil Sinhala dispute, the Tamils have a disdain for the Rajapaksas and hold them responsible for the deaths in the civil war. It is this issue that India will have to negotiate if the Rajapaksas come to power. Despite the shared history and mythology between the two countries and Indian investment in the island, India-Sri Lanka ties remain strained since the 1980s. The rising Chinese presence in Sri Lanka, encouraged by the Rajapaksas, is perhaps one of the factors to be blamed. Regardless of who wins the presidential election on November 16, India's equation with its neighbour will have to be reworked owing to the China factor. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.